<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Let's see. Let's go, let's see what's going on here. There we go. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> let's see. Danielle wants to know what uh, what tea I'm drinking tonight. Well, this is a commercial for honey honeybush mandarin and orange twinnings tea. The brand of a dad who draws. I'm not being sponsored by this. <laughs> so, uh, how's everyone doing tonight? Well, I'm so glad that uh, you all jumped down and uh, we're all going to draw this, uh, this great picture of um, St. Lucia together. We have uh, Marcus, who is uh, in our Facebook group. Uh, he, uh, he's from St. Lucia, so I've, I've talked to him just a little bit. And, uh, yeah, so I, I started looking up pictures of St. Lucia, and I thought, wow, that is, that is one beautiful island. I'm, I'm sure he's kind of used to it by now. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, nonetheless, uh, we can enjoy it and try and make something so beautiful uh, look gorgeous, right? That's, that's our aim tonight. So, so I'm glad that you're here on this special Saturday night as we spend the next hour uh, maybe learning a few things and uh, practicing our drawing skills. So, yum, love that brand. <laughs> yeah, Danielle says she loves this tea brand. Now, now Danielle, you know, I started going black on my coffee uh, about a month ago, and I really like it. But when I get close to the evening time, I, I switch over to... Uh, some tea with a little bit of orange in it. I don't, I don't know what that means. I just, you know, that's just what I go with. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to, um, I, got to th I got to thinking about as we draw landscapes. And uh, I want to show you, by the way, if I haven't introduced myself, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. And uh, we get together uh, on Mondays and Wednesdays during the week and do this. Mondays, we usually look at some type of landscape or an interior or something that has to do with architecture. On uh, Wednesdays, we take a look at usually portrait drawing. And then Saturdays have been a special... Uh, good evening, looking forward. Great. Pamela, so glad that you're uh, learning to draw from scratch. Oh, awesome, Pamela. Well, listen, if you have any, any questions, just shout it out and I will... Uh, Pause what I'm doing and, and answer whatever you need, okay? So you're in the right place. Uh, and, you know, that, that does remind me, one other thing that we do have is we do have a class that is called the Beginner's Workshop. And there's a link in the description that I would highly recommend that uh, Pamela, someone like yourself, or anyone else that want to brush up on their beginning drawing skills, it will take you through... The basic foundations of, of understanding volumes in basic forms and you really want to master those things if you can master those ideas then it will really set you up for success uh, we also have a Facebook group that is extremely active that's where of course I met uh, Danielle and look at that Danielle's welcoming Pamela and uh, please there's a link also in that to join us there but uh, that's it so with that being said Let's get into it right now, okay? <laughs> so, if when I when I approach a, a landscape, um, I like to I really like to think of this this concept. I like to think of a a stage. Uh, we're the audience, and we're looking at a stage. And in in whenever you see a musical or any type of play, you know they will set up scenery, and so you'll have different layers. So this is. This is kind of what I mean here. So if, if you're watching, if you're watching a scene or a stage, you know, the, the audience is going to be down here. Okay. This is the audience and they're, they're looking in this direction and, and for the stage, you know, they're going to have probably a backdrop back here. This, this backdrop might be, uh, of, of clouds per se. Okay. So they might, they might have this backdrop of clouds. Then, then in front of this, let's just say they have um, they have a uh, a scene uh, that's maybe a mountain, 
okay? And so they're, they might bring another one in back over here like this, you see? And then they might have another one that's behind these guys that's a little bit smaller, all right? And then surely in front of these mountains and these clouds in the background, next thing they they might bring in is is maybe maybe a forest. So we'll just we'll just do this sort of thing to represent the forest, okay? And the forest is over here as well. And they they wheel this in. Then up then up front here they might they might bring in some type of uh, brick wall. Let's just say. Uh, so then they have a brick wall over there. Maybe they bring in a brick wall over here. And then down here in the center, they might they might put a tree. Okay, so so from the vantage point of the audience, they see all these layers going back. Well, uh, when I approach any type of landscape or drawing, that's exactly the way that I like to think of it. I like to envision layers. What separates this layer from the next? And uh, when we approach it like that, things can get a little bit a little bit easier all right so keep that in mind and I have one more possible trick that might help you as well if if I was to ask you to draw uh, a map of the United States I bet you the I bet you and, and you can say this in the chat well actually the chat's delayed so uh, but I bet you if I, I said hey let's draw a map of the United States and the first thing you would draw, I, I bet you, I bet you a thousand dollars, you would not start by drawing Kansas. <laughs> There's no way. Uh, you wouldn't even start probably by drawing Nevada, okay, even though Nevada is a pretty clear sh shape. No, more than likely, more than likely, you might, oh, let's make sure we're on the right layer here. More than likely, you might start with a big picture of the United States. You might just kind of rough it in the way that you can think of what what that might look like you see and then and then from there you might think i might say okay let's let's uh, let's you know continue this and the next thing you might do is like well i know i know the states i know that we have oregon and uh well we have washington oregon and california okay that's 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 a pretty big piece and you would also know hey I know Florida's down here as well, okay, and I think that Texas goes something like this, and then you would say, all right, and I know that there's like Alabama and Mississippi, and uh, hmm, I'm going to miss one in here. I can't, oh, New Orleans, New Orleans, so you might break it down that way. So as you are, as you begin to fill in uh, smaller details of this you'd say oh look we've got the uh, Arizona New Mexico Nevada uh, what's the one up there oh I can't think of it right now <clears throat> but this might be is it, mm, boy now this is gonna bug me I can't remember what state that is it's not Arizona Arizona Colorado maybe Maybe it is Colorado. Okay, so we start filling in to smaller details. Well, that's the same way that I like to approach um, any type of uh, landscape. I like to look for bigger objects that will help like clear up and give me some help in trying to break things down. And sometimes those objects, they might not, they may not be um, something that is perfectly visible. Let me, now let me, let me jump to our picture and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see. So if I was going to approach any landscape, I'll put this on a new layer here. All right. I might, these are the, these are the things that I'm going to draw uh, and, and kind of draw in lightly. All right. Well, obviously, the, you would have a horizon line. That's, a, that's an important line right there. But, you know, I would before I would put that, I would notice the distance of how much, how much sky was up on top and how much water was down below. I would make sure that I don't draw that line dead center. All right? Next thing I might, next thing I might do is I, start, I might start looking for shapes, okay? 
Shapes are really helpful. So let's change this to a different color here. For example, look at this shape right here. That right there. Boom. That right there is a tri is a triangle. And I could I could get that shape. I could think of, oh look, it starts right here in this corner and it ends right there. So now now I got that shape established, you see? And then and then I might look up then I might look up here. Oh wow. Uh, now this is this might be another one I would I would take notice of. Look at this shape here. See that? I could kind of break that shape down too. And that would that would be really helpful. Now it now it now it gets a little bit easier because now I can like, oh look, I've got this shape coming in here. And then I've got this shape. <clears throat> now that I've established this, now I can now let's change to one more color here. And these all these things I'm showing you right now, look, I got that shape right there. And I've got a triangle right here. What I'm using, what I'm doing right now is I'm using negative space to help me lock everything in. Okay, so now we start we start putting, uh, now we can start move over to actual objects, trees, branches, but I haven't even like touched any of those yet. I'm just trying to get like the big picture of the United States in place. I'm trying to get the boundaries then it's much more easier to to start locking those things down. All right. Now tonight we're going to be adventurous and we're going to be working with some human beings. Okay. So how would I, how would you approach that? Well, usually what I look for when I start drawing a human being and these are going to be silhouette and it's important that we get it right. I start looking for things like, oh look, that's almost a straight vertical right there. Uh, this kid, look, this is a, this kid, let me just simplify it. Look, it's a, it's a rectangle right there with a head that's with a round circle that's slightly, slightly off center. Look, here's another, there's another rectangle right there. And the front of his face is straight, but it's curved from behind. You see that? And look, I got this other little girl right here, this little girl, and there's her rectangle. And of course, then we've got this kid right here, and there's his, his rectangle with his head off to the right. So essentially what I'm doing is I am drawing in the upper and lower torso of the individual. And then I'm asking myself, where is the head on there? Is it dead center? No. In this case, the head is going to be over to the left, right, just a little bit. On this one over here, the head, this is, we'll call this A, and this is B on this, this kid right there. The head on him is a little bit over to the left. See, these are the things that I start looking for to help frame it down and kind of give me an idea as I'm putting these things in place. And we could, let me show you one more, and then we'll actually start get to drawing here. Look at this boat. I don't see this as a boat. I see this almost as a rectangle coming in the picture. You see that? And now, now I could go down and start to break that down just a bit. All right, so this is, this is my approach. I start, think of the United States, that picture. I think of big shapes. I break those things down. And then when we get to a little more difficult thing of getting these silhouettes of these people, break those down with upper lower torso, little rectangle, and then where is the head? All right. Any questions on that? That should, uh, you know, that that right there should uh, really set you up for success as you approach things. OK. The other thing, other thing that that what makes that so helpful is that it gets you to be a uh, really good, really good at drawing anything as opposed to, oh, I only do this or I only do that. You know, I, I don't want you to learn how to draw a nose per se. What I want you to learn is I want you to learn how to draw period. And then a nose is no different than a cube or or something that's round or tire or something like that. It's just another object that you draw. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get started then. So 
uh, first thing what I like to do when I am drawing a picture and I am going to make this just a little bit smaller because we're dealing with um, something that is horizontal tonight. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start off with an outer frame. Trying to get this just really rough here, all right? So it's in about the same proportion as my uh, picture here. And when we, when I get to the actual little more detail, then we'll blow the picture up, okay? All right, next thing, let's look at to see where this uh, horizon line is. And before, now remind you that this distance is more a is more than b so let's let's find the center and then just drop it down just a little bit you see that okay i'm going to go with right there that i'm pretty good i'm pretty happy with that with that mark right there and so you don't get confused i'm going to get rid of this thing right here All right, next, let's go ahead and get that, let's get that angle of that beach in. So over here on my page, this is where it's gonna leave the picture. And then over here, this is about where it's gonna enter, okay? So now I could just lightly connect the dots. And that should give me a pretty good angle of, of where that's at. All right, next, let's go ahead and I'm going to now take a look at this big, uh, let me put this on a different layer so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and put this, what I showed earlier. I'm gonna look for this, this giant shape right there, okay? I'm gonna estimate where that might be because I'm gonna use that to help me measure things, okay? So, I'm gonna come in right about there. And I'm gonna end up down here. That's gonna be roughly, maybe something like this. And it doesn't have to be exact. And this one's gonna come in here, this tree trunk, a slightly different angle. And we're gonna come in that way right there. Where is this? All right, next. I'm going to use those as guides, and I'm drawing very lightly here, okay? All right, with those guides now, now I can kind of get this mountain. The uh, What is the name of that mountain? I cannot remember now off the top of my head. It is called, did I write it down? I have it down in the main, I'll tell you, if uh, Ronald Edmund comes on, he could tell us. He will know the answer. Uh, okay, so let's continue on. So this mountain here, all right, this, there it is right there. I'm just going to rough it in, just guess it. And then I have this other other mountain starts to come in that's in the forefront right there all right it's looking good and then down here now I'm gonna put this boat in all right so I'm kind of guesstimating about where that boat's gonna go and I, I can see it it comes out of the screen comes off the page right there and right right below the top of that beach there, it's coming in like this. How am I doing? Too fast? If I'm going too fast, just tell me to slow down and I'll be more than happy to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and, and uh, get roughly now 
now I can see where the this um, this palm tree here. Let me point it out to you. We'll call this. We're going to call this palm tree A. That's A, and that will be B. All right. All right. So palm tree A. I can see that the uh, and we're just going to kind of put in that. I don't know, the bulb or the, the, the top part of that tree without any fronds. And then it's going to come down right here, right here in the water. It's going to end up right on the edge of the beach there. So that's a, that's a good, good point there, All right? And then we've got this other, this other one that's coming in up here. You see this? And we're just going to lightly kind of put that in place right there. And it looks like, oh, there it goes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, back on. All right, next, let's go ahead and get this, let's get this rock in place here. All right, so this, there's a rock. There's a rock right here. Let me show it to you. See that? There's a rock right there. So we're going to get that in. And so where we could use our guides again, okay, where it kind of comes over there and it drops down. Is that about right? No, maybe, maybe too wide right there, okay? Now we can get the, uh, this other palm tree coming in here, just a rough guess. And the other one is almost, almost parallel. And then this other guy, now he goes right above the horizon line. Do you see that? Getting all the, all the big pieces in here. All right, there's another, there's another palm tree that's coming in over here. So just just for review, just remember what I said. You're, you're staging a play and you look for the bigger picture, the biggest shapes, and then you start putting the biggest things in. You're looking for basic shapes, triangles, uh, squares. And then once you start getting those down, those start, you use those measurements or you use those relationships to get the other things in place, all right? So let's, let's kind of rough in one of these boys here. And you could see that I'm going to draw this one, two, and three in this. There is a small little girl, and we'll call her four, okay? So the first kid, number one, just look at his torso, upper and lower, his shoulders down to his hips. And I can see that he is, his shoulders are right about there. And I'm just going to draw this small rectangle, okay? And his head, his head is, is going to be small. It's going to be shifted to the right just a little bit. And then his legs are going to come right next to the boat right there. You see that? <coughs> okay, his next friend. Now his next friend, I'm looking for that rectangle again. It's, it's a little bit higher than his friend's shoulders here. So we're just gonna come in here just slightly higher. Okay, and his head is off to the left a little bit, just like this. And that, right, that water line is just above there. All right, now let's go to that other kid. Now let's go to number three, and he's right just right shy, just to the right of this tree here. And there's his little rectangle there. And his head is on the, oh, that's way too big. His head is to the right of his shoulders. And then, of course, this last little girl. 
she is standing almost directly in front of this boy right here in number two. She's standing in front of two. She's number four. Her head is right there. And her body's right about there. And she's standing cross-legged. And that will almost, let's, last thing I want to do is let's just quickly, you know, we could just kind of rough in, rough in these palm, palm leaves, palm branches. There's one over there. And then this, this other one is coming down here like this. And I'm, I'm just using straight lines to try and indicate that. And then this one over here, he's going to extend. I'm just going to like look at he's going to extend way over here you see that we got one coming here we got a bunch over here i'm just going to pinwheel those out just a little bit we got one coming in there going from the large going down to the small <laughs> hey, look at that. Edmund's in the house. Hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, Marcus, I, I hope I got, I think you're the, I'm almost positive. Edmund, right? If I'm wrong on that, or was it? Well, you can tell me later. I think it was Edmund. How embarrassing if I got it wrong. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll learn it. I'll remember tomorrow. Okay, here we go. Let's go next. Mm, the one, they see, yes, this one's a special treat. You bet. You could actually go there right now and take a picture. I bet, huh? <laughs> how how far how far is this from your house? How far? How long would it take you to get to this spot? That's a good question. <laughs> okay, let's keep going here. All right, so let's go ahead. And what was the name? What's the name of this peak that we're drawing right now? All right, so let's go ahead and, and start to put this in here and get some, uh, uh, get some value. Now, one, one thing I do want to point out to you, this is, this is something really special. Uh, uh, this is, hey, this is something that's really special is that this idea of it's called atmospheric perspective. And what that means is when an object is further away from you outside though it is Edmund all right I had it right when when the when the object is uh, further away from you it gets lighter in value and let me let me demonstrate that let's say this is you and you're standing here and you're looking in this direction and way out here a long ways away there is a mountain range okay well between your your line of sight and this mountain range there are there's atmosphere or there's droplets of water that are between you and that object so what happens is all of these droplets of water end up making the object become lighter in value whereas opposed if you then in front of you was a bush there's not a lot of atmospheric perspective here so this bush is going to be a lot more darker in value as opposed to the object that's further away. So as we look at this picture, uh, as we look at this picture south of the island, oh, you're in the north, okay. Um, as we look at this picture, that uh, mountain is, that hill mountain is much more further away, so it's lighter in value as opposed to the rock and the three palm trees that are in the foreground, you see? So we need to keep that, uh, we need to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead then and drop just a general value. Don't go too dark on me now. Just keep it, keep it light. We could always come in darker. All right. And then now let's let's look at just that mountain now. Let's look at just that mountain and notice a couple things. Well, there is a darker value here. Watch now. There's a shape. You see this shape coming down here? 
All right, so we want to make this mountain only two values, all right? And we're just, we're just gonna fill those values in as we see them. So they'll have a light value, and then that value is gonna be a little bit darker, okay? Now I'm gonna go in and just outline mine just, just a little bit here. Get a little bit better shape there. Oh, Petit Piton. Yes, that's the name. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look that one up, my friend, how to pronounce that. Okay, so, all right, I'm not going to go any darker than that. All right, so we got, I've got my uh, mountain here. Great. And then the other thing I want to do is I notice that there is a little bit of tone in the sky, except where those clouds are. So I'm just going to kind of drop in a tone here. All right, excellent. And let's go into now, I'm going to draw this next mountain that's in front of that. And this is going to come in with a little bit of a darker, darker value because it's a little bit closer to us. But it's still not as, look at the difference here. This is the thing you have to be aware of. Look how dark that value is compared to that right there. This is A and this is B. A is much darker than B. So we want to we want to make sure that we honor that. We might even have to go in here and darken this a little bit. All right. Then we have uh, now I'm just going into our uh, hill here and I'm going to add some texture because we could start to make out uh, Edmund I swear to you I'm going to find a way to come out there God willing I want to see this in person I want to I want to watercolor this mountain on those beaches <laughs> maybe we should have a huge drawing group meet all meet you out there one day and you could give us a tour of your home and your island that one that would be a good vacation who's with me <laughs> who's with me all right so now i'm going to just kind of go in and just add a little bit more tone here to define uh these two different different edges right there Okay, next, let's go ahead and get to one of these uh, palm, let's get this palm tree in here, this big one, this one that's coming over through the edge here. Okay. Now this palm tree is going to have that, uh, what's going to be key on this palm tree is that highlight. Uh, it's highlight on the right hand side there. So we could either, because I'm working digitally, that's easy to put in. If you are working with your pencil, you could always erase it. Or you can, as a watercolor person would do, they would 
leave that highlight there. So I'll leave it up to you what you would rather do. Since uh, I'm going to try and leave mine light, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get this uh, palm tree in here, this other one now, okay? So I'm going to get the bulb here, and now it's it really has a highlight on the on the right hand side you see that and I can also see it has some surface lines and surface lines are this idea if you if you have like a tree especially works well in a tree and you start to add surface lines that go across the surface you could really give a sense that that tree is round so even at the base here even though this is so small um, just by when I'm shading it if I'm thinking of it thinking of it in that regard I can actually um, give the illusion that it's round all right then let's talk about palm trees let's talk about these prom these the palms now when I do a palm I like to uh, lead in with the stem like this and and I push down on my paper and I pull up I push down and pull up okay and then you can do it a couple different ways you can very lightly <laughs> as long as life is there you safe all right my friend <laughs> uh, and then then you could lightly uh, put the outline of those things and then you could just bring them out out to that point that would that's one way to do it and when I am doing it I try and get some variety I, I push down I pull up I push down and pull up trying to keep it in that uh, within those guides that I just created and I, I don't I don't want them to be exactly the same all right that's how I do it doesn't mean you got to do it that way, but it seems to work for me, okay? All right, so I'm going to put these in now. And these also have a little bit of a variation. Some of them are, some of them look like that. Some of them are going to be like this, where you're seeing them from the side. You know, Edmund, one of my favorite watercolorists, he, uh, his name was uh, Winsler Homer. And uh, he spent a huge portion of his career in the tropics. And those paintings are just stunning. So, uh, boy, if I, could, if I could get you to start painting in watercolor, wow, there could be quite the market for you my friend something to maybe aim to and, and think about okay so there's a lot more but we're not gonna we're just gonna try and put these in one at a time over here Gonna rush this. And when we're done, if if you do want to uh, go into our Facebook group and post your picture, I'd be more than happy to take a look at it. And if I if you have any questions, I can help you. Or if I think it, there's a glaring, glaring error or something that I might be able to help you with, I will, I will jump in and give you some guidance. Okay, I'm gonna just add an overall tone now to this area. Oh, what happened here? Oh, there it is. Okay, we're good. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Now this mountain, this mountain here, to me, my mountain needs to be darker in value because I'm comparing it, comparing it to the sky. All right. All right, so now let's go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna drop some of this ocean in. All I'm gonna do is just put a tone here because it's also reflecting these mountains in the water. So I wanna I wanna get that in there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, move across here. We'll come back to the, uh, the figures in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get some of these uh, silhouetted trees in here. There's not a lot of detail in them, but, but definitely they do add a lot of drama because they are so dark, and we want to definitely use that, use that dark value for this corner over here. All right, then we got this rock here, right? Yeah, oh, those those peaks were once volcanoes, huh? Hmm. I believe that. I don't, you know, it's weird. You don't really think of volcanoes in the in the Caribbean areas. But someone had a someone had to kick them up out of the ocean, right? <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get this uh, other uh, palm. Let's get this other uh, trunk of this. Okay, of this uh, palm tree there, and then we're gonna have another one right there. And I'm just kind of going dark here. And then this one is going to come up right above there, I think. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to uh, get this palm leaf in. All right. Get in this shape first and then I work on my design and then I'll do a tone on top to get it its darker value and we want to really make this like a silhouette back here Really? A dive-in volcano bathing spot near there. Oh, my gosh. Edmund, you know you know all the secret spots, buddy. I'm totally on board. All right, so I'm going to just come in here now and get these palm really don't be afraid to go dark here all right I'm trying to make sure mine don't look like a scribbled mess
All right. Excellent. How are we looking now? We've got some more kind of driftwood over here or something going on. All right. And now I'm going to squint my eyes and even this, I think this, this ocean back here needs to have a little bit more darker value. Always checking my values. All right, let's see what else is going on here. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and work on our boat here. Oh, look at that. We're up to 50 minutes. We got to we got to put this into high gear here. Let's go ahead and start to <clears throat> Let's see here. All right, so let's go ahead and get these uh, uh, silhouettes of these people here. And I'm just going to kind of go back here and uh, get these uh, squares in that we just talked about. And remember, these are silhouettes. So this, this guy over here is curved. So we want to make sure that he is... That he is, uh, yeah, we just have to indicate him. It doesn't have to be perfect. This little girl's coming down here. Little boy, make sure you put these heads in the right location. Don't, don't put them exactly right on top there. This kid has his arms extended and out. He's holding on. Then the, the arms are the last thing I want to put in, okay? He's like, hey. Whatever you got there, buddy, I want some of that. All right, let's see now. Uh-huh. It's no secret. <laughs> All right, we're going to next get this boat in place here. And it comes all the way out to there. I'm going to add another little stripe underneath. This is going to be for the orange color, and we'll just drop a tone in on that. And then we got the uh, top part here of the boat. All right, there's that. We got that in place. Okay, let's go ahead now and We'll add some of the texture on our, be on our beach. So I'm just going to add some tone and you want to make sure you draw in this uh, uh, with it uh, like surface lines. And what I mean by these surface lines is, you know, if, if the beach is this way, we want to make sure our, our shading kind of goes in the same direction of that beach there. And we can see that that is that sand here. I'm going to drop a overall tone on that sand, I think. And then we have this, the shadows of them. Yep, these kids here. And then we also have some shadow where these uh, stone meets up with the edge of the water. So I'm just going to <clears throat> Add some highlights down here. There's like little 
course, there's little uh, divots in the sand. Oops, it's a little too dark there. Get some of the shadows in place. All right, I think we're coming up. What time is it? All right, we're doing good. Yeah, I even made my uh, I made my guys a little too big there. I'm just gonna carve away some of this kid here, and this one too. He, they they look like giant giants, and then we'll come back in with a little bit of tone. Oops. That's something you have to be careful of. Typically, we will, I don't know why that is, but we will make heads way too big. We just do that. It just seems that we uh, make eyes too too big and heads. All right, okay, excellent. Now I'm going to come, and come in here. And my last little thing I'm going to do is add some highlights back in. So I have the trunk of this tree. Okay, I have the edge of this tree over here. <clears throat> and then and then we have this edge of this of the of the surf coming in. So I definitely want to just make sure that that is nice and bright. And I'm even going to come up in the uh, palm leaves in the top right here. Oops, that's too, that's too, uh, I'm going to add some lighter tone up here. Because I want to bring some detail back into these. I'm gonna make sure I break them up just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of surface lines. Okay, I think that does it. That just about does it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, if there's any any other questions for this, any questions? No. Well, I just want to thank everyone for watching tonight, and and hope you picked up some uh, new tips, new ideas, and uh, post your work in our Facebook group. Remember, we do have those. Uh, we have the beginner's workshop class uh, link is down in the description that you could take that and i just want to thank everyone for watching pamela thanks for jumping in there and edmund coming in and representing <laughs> danielle and whoever else and all the other people that watch the the rewind of this so uh thanks for coming in tonight and i will hope